given my passion for primates, I was especially focused on these strange flying monkeys that appear. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Becky Malinsky and I am the curator of primates at the Smithsonian's National Zoo. As the curator of primates, I am responsible not only for the animals in my care, but also the staff that take care of them. Ever since I can remember, when I was a little girl, I was passionate about primates. I cannot explain why, um, but it was a very strong drive. I knew that I wanted to work with them in some capacity. So just like many of us, I watched The Wizard of Oz several times as a child and I loved the entire film, but given my uh, passion for primates, I was especially focused on these strange flying monkeys that appear. Thinking back on how I reacted to watching the film the first time, I remember having sort of a sense of empathy or feeling sorry for the monkeys because I felt the Wicked Witch had control over them and they were only, you know, doing her bidding and going after Dorothy and Toto because that's what the witch uh, made them do. I sort of felt sympathy for them, but also a little bit of fear and fascination because they were these strange magical creatures that uh, were monkeys, but not any species of monkey that actually exists in real life. There are some animals that are uh, often called flying lemurs. Um, lemurs are a type of prosimian, so a type of primate, but these animals that are often called flying lemurs are really not primates, they're really not lemurs at all. They are animals that kind of glide. They don't have wings, they can't flap wings to make them fly, but they will jump and they have um, sort of these flaps of skin on the sides of their bodies that allow them to glide from tree branch to tree branch. There are primates that are fantastic leapers and swingers that it almost looks like they're flying when you watch them maneuver around. Um, gibbons are one of those animals that come to mind. Um, gibbons are found in Southeast Asia. They're a small ape species and they have these really long arms that they use to swing from branch to branch and they can build up such great speed as they're swinging from tree to tree and branch to branch that it looks like they're flying but they're not, they don't have the capability to fly, but they can just, they have such upper body strength that they can throw their bodies from branch to branch so it appears as though they're flying. So even though real monkeys can't fly like the flying monkeys in The Wizard of Oz, they are just as cool. Let us know what your favorite part of this video was in the comments section. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and a share. Also, you can follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.